Hey guys, so in order to do this design, all you need is one seven inch piece of wire. I'm using 18 gauge wire, but if you're just starting out on wire wrapping, 18 gauge can be a little hard to work with. So you can start out using 20 gauge or something a bit lighter until you get used to working with it. So we're gonna start about three inches from the edge. And we're just gonna bend that in on both sides and then punch it with our pliers. All right, so now we're gonna use our fingers to carefully open this up. After we do so, we should have a nice pointy end for our leaf. All right, so now I'm just gonna use my thumb to carefully shape a curved shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're making a leaf with something in nature and it's not gonna be perfect. So yeah, once you have it about where you like it, you can choose at this point to either use your hammer to create a hammered effect here, or you can skip this. This is not super complicated, but it is a bit more advanced because we're working with two separate layers. So if we just hammer on all of this, it's gonna completely flatten our design and we're gonna have like a weird bump here where we're hammering this. So in order to get a nice hammered effect, we're gonna hammer on one edge and then we're gonna switch it and then we're gonna hammer on the other, leaving that part hanging off the side. All right, so right now, I'm just kind of holding this in place with my thumbnail. Be careful not to hit your thumb. And I'm just gonna hammer this wire here and be careful not to hit this wire at all. All right, so now I wanna add some texture to this. So I'm gonna use the small end of my hammer and just tap all over to give it a nice little sparkly effect. All right, so to do the other side, I'm gonna make sure that this is hanging off slightly over the edge. Hold this the best I can, I think that'll do. And I'm just gonna work little by little. You know, you don't need to do the whole thing all at once. And then once I'm on this side, I can kind of move it a bit more to how I like it. And same thing, once we get to the top, we don't want to hit these two wires that are crossed over. So just be careful to kind of keep it hanging off the edge and we'll lightly tap these. And same thing, I'm gonna use this side to give it a little bit more effect and definition. All right, we are done with our hammer. So right now I have this. I'm just gonna take this wire that's on top and start to curve it in. We're gonna make a fold here, but I'm gonna use my hands as much as possible because the more I use my hands, the less risk of me scarring the wire with my pliers. So once I have it pretty much as much as I can get it with my fingers, I'm just gonna use my pliers to carefully pinch and make sure that those are kind of tight. All 
right, with this wire, we're just going to kind of guide it down to the base with this. Once you're at that point, once again, if you can use your fingers, if not, you can use your pliers and just kind of bend that wire around. And you can use your pliers to pinch it a bit more and try to cut it as close as you can, leaving a little lip that will pinch over and it'll hook around that wire. And to finish it off, if you want to make a pendant, you can make a larger vertical loop here that you can put a chain on. And if you want to make a second one to wear as earrings, you can take your round nose pliers, make a small loop up here at the top. Hold it with your chain nose pliers and push that wire to the back. And same as before, just kind of snip it off and pinch it in. And there we go. A cute little leaf for September. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'd love to see what you guys make with this, so feel free to share it with me. All right, guys, so after I finished these, I couldn't help but feel like something was missing. So I decided to add a little bead accent, and I love it. So very quickly, I'm going to show you guys how to add this on, just in case you want to add a little sparkle to your earrings, too. So using a 0.4 millimeter wire, this is a um, 26 gauge. I'm just gonna go at the end here. And what I like to do, if the hole of my beads are big enough, I like to just make a little bend, oops, a little bend in my wire here, like that. And then just kind of bend it up. So the reason I do this is to make sure that that pointy end of the wire is going to be hidden inside the bead and it won't have any risk of this part right here just in case like it touches your shoulders or something it won't get snagged on your clothes because that's happened to me so many times and it drives me crazy so this is just a four millimeter carnelian bead that i'm using i'm going to top it off with a three millimeter copper bead and a teeny tiny two millimeter copper bead All right, so now you just take your round nose pliers right there. And I'm going to make a little loop, pushing that wire. I'm not going to make a full loop. It's just going to be a half because I want to make sure I can easily get it onto my leaf design. All right, so I have my leaf here and I noticed that there is this little hole here at the bottom where I can easily attach this little beaded end. So yeah, once it's in there, just kind of form a little loop, wrap it around. Don't, you don't want it to be too tight because then it won't dangle, it'll just be stuck there. And now just want to kind of hold it with your pliers, if you can. So I'm holding the wire that I'm pulling on. Holding this wire will prevent you from pulling it too tight and creating like too tight of a loop. Wrap it once and twice. And now I'm just gonna cut it as close as I can on the back and it'll be done. Right, 
And don't forget to squish that little end in so there's nothing poking out. All right, so I'll just have to dip these beads back in the oxidizing the liver of sulfur solution to darken them up and give them that antique look to match the others. But I think these are going to be such cute earrings for the fall.